All right, so it is the same night and just spotted this Fowler's Toad. And I heard him before, so I went to come over here and didn't expect him to be this close. So I was kind of surprised to see him this close, but I can hear him calling, so probably looking for a mate. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this guy alone, but awesome. It's not even a sunny day, but I came over to this couple of logs that I'll flip every so often, and here's a garter snake just out and about. Looks like it's got some sores on it, so I'm not going to mess with this garter snake at all. I'm just going to let him be. Someone just warned me. They were like, yo, be careful. There's snakes. And I, was, I just nodded my head. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but this is what I'm here for. Nice Thamnophis or Talus. Chilling out and about. Not really so nice. Looks like it has some lesions. Some bad skin. Hopefully with a new shed it'll look a lot better. But definitely not going to handle the snake at all just because of that but yeah gonna let the snake be but awesome all right and under that log was this guy there was two more there was this and another one but nice garter a little over a foot long I could smell that musk already but yeah this one's a lot prettier than the last one nice bright colors I'm pretty sure I've seen this one last year or one of its siblings. It's got really dark coloration, really distinct dorsal stripes, so nice. Gonna put this snake back and see what else we find today. Snake is really strikey. Looking for any opportunity to get a clean shot at me. But really gorgeous garter snake. Awesome pattern. All right, the snake just pooped on themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the snake back. But really pretty garter. Just let me pick him up. Cool. Oh, 
All right, no more poop. Don't wait poop on me. See you later, buddy. What a nice big garter. Cool. Can't leave this guy alone. I can hear tons of great tree frogs calling, but look at the sky of the road. It's been pretty dry. We haven't had much rain except for tonight. We had a good thunderstorm. So these guys are all out. Really nice looking. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop this guy across. Oh my gosh, look at this little spring peeper. It's so small. Here's, um, for size reference. Look how little the spring peeper is. I'm gonna take some photos real quick while this guy's still in C2. Well, awesome. All right, I might get this little guy out of the road. I've never seen one this big. <sighs> Look how cute that is. Juvenile spring peeper. You can see that X pattern on the back, kind of. And I bet you can hear all those gray tree frogs calling too. It's because, like I said, I mean, I'd hear them every so often, but it's been really dry lately, so they're all getting a little refreshment. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy out of the road. Go. Almost. There he goes. He can't make it up the curb. There you go. And again. Another really tiny juvenile spring peeper. Really pretty. And also really cool to see him this young. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy up this curb. So I'm not sure what species um, of frog these are, they're either frog or toad, but look at these little amphibian eggs, really cool, they have like a jelly that protects them, shoot, I want them to get stuck on me. But really interesting. And here's another cluster of eggs right next to those other ones. Really cool. You can see the separations between each, like ball. Pretty cool. And there's also tons of fish swimming around here right now.
And here's a little frog or toad tadpole. I'm not sure. But it's right next to these eggs. It's so pretty cool to see them both next to each other in both stages. Awesome. So it's a few days later and uh, decided to come out. It's like going to be 93 today. I think it's only like 91 right now. But anyway, just found this metamorph Fowler's Toad. Really light color. Okay, I'm gonna leave him alone. All right, so I'm on the side of the road right now. My mom just stopped the car so I could help this guy finish getting across the road. But nice, little painted turtle crossing the road early in the morning it's like 9 30 right now so awesome glad i just stopped for him tons of cars see you later buddy good luck just found <clears throat> so just found the spider pretty sure this is a spotted orb weaver really cool spiders i love the orb weaver spiders but yeah and it's got this huge web on the side of my house. And any slight movement or any like vibration on these strands of silk will make him or her uh, aware of it. So it's like a little booby trap of the spider. So really cool. So this is the underside of a spotted orb weaver. Sorry I'm so shaky. It's a weird position but yeah. yeah I'm gonna leave the spider alone. Really cool. Alright, just made it to these boards. Can I check this one? Nobody. Check this bottom board. Oh, and there's a ring neck. There's one ring neck. There's one right there. There's another one right here. If that's not, no, it's not the same one. And then there's one back there. So, and that one has a disconnected ring. The one that was just right here also does. And, let's see this dude. I'm just gonna let the snake go. Whatever. That was like three or four ring necks. If I didn't count one of them twice. Check this. And there's a big ring neck right here. Nice disconnected ring. So, I came over here and I went to check this big piece of wood. And, look at that wood frog. I'm gonna try to, it's leaning on my knee. But look at that wood frog. It's so bright. Look at that coloration on this wood frog. Such a bright red. And there's a little green frog. Sticking his head out of the water. I also saw a pickerel frog, but it got away into that grass. Huge bullfrog in front of me. There's another bullfrog.